Gnome Covenant kids! We sure wish we could all be gathered together today. So Miss Michelle and Miss Vanessa and I have put together a little video of children's church time so we can encourage each other in the Lord. Let's start with Miss Vanessa and the boys. Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Vanessa, and these are my handsome helpers, and we are going to sing a song for you. Are we ready? Yeah, we're All ready. Right. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Great job, guys. Thank you for singing for us. I love that song. Now, the only thing we really wish is that we could have heard from our puppets. But the thing is that because the church is closed right now, the puppets are inside and trying to stay super healthy. I really wish we could have heard from them. But um, we just want to make sure that everybody's healthy. I don't have a sore throat. Ah! Oh, my God. Sustain you. He will sustain you. I 
Dead cares, two cares on the low. He will sustain you. He will sustain you. I love that song so much and I hope you are singing it with all your heart. At our house, we've been singing that tonight. So I have a Bible lesson I want to teach you. Something from the book of 1 Samuel. This story is about King David and it's about a time when he had so many troubles. Not coronavirus, but actually even worse than that. And right now in our day, we're having a lot of troubles. Kids can't go to school. Moms and dads sometimes can't even go to work. And you're probably hearing adults talking about all these troubles with the coronavirus. And I want us to take a minute and encourage our hearts in the Lord. In 1 Samuel 30, the lesson is telling us about David. He and his men had gone on a trip. They were away. And while they were gone, an enemy came in, took all their possessions, not just their things, they burned their town and they stole their families. David's wife, his children, all his men's wives and children, they took them away. So David and his men returned from their long trip and their town was burning. Their wives and children were gone. And it says that the men were so upset, they wanted to kill David. Listen to what it says. David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him. That means they were going to kill him because they were bitter in their soul, each for his sons and his daughters. Can you imagine how awful that would be to come home and find your home ruined and your family gone? What do you think David's going to do? What does he do when he's in trouble? Well, the Bible tells us right here, but David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. What do you think that means? It means that he knows who God is and he reminded himself that we have a great savior, a great rescuer, that Jesus can do anything and he can help us and he can help David in trouble. The good news on this story is that David prayed and he sought God and God told him what to do. He was able to overtake that enemy, actually almost like a miracle. They found a member of that enemy's band lost in the desert. And the Bible says they gave him drink and gave him food and he was grateful to them. And he said, I'll lead you to the people who have your wives and children. And that's just what he did. And they were able to save everyone. The Bible says not one piece of clothing or item or child or wife was lost. They were all rescued. Aren't you glad David took time to strengthen himself in the Lord instead of panicking and freaking out? He took a deep breath. He trusted in God and God helped him out of his trouble. Remember the song we've been singing, you make me brave, you give me courage. Let's take a minute and sing that now. And then I have a special object lesson for you. Oh God, I know you're always near. dark I will not fear I know the storms will come I know I'm not alone you are my strength so I will say you make me brave you give me courage I won't be afraid I won't even worry cause you've got the whole world in your hands you fight for me you help me stand you
gives me strength every day, strength and courage. I can do all things through Jesus, my Savior, who gives me strength every day, strength and courage. Okay, are you ready? I have here one of our favorite things. <gasps> Pop! Root beer, actually. Now, if you know anything about pop, when it's in a can, you should never shake it, right? What happens if you shake it? It explodes everywhere. Right now, if I open this lid, Ah, it's gonna go everywhere. That's kind of what we feel inside when we're stressed. I can just hear the bubbles getting more and more tense. I can hear the fizz inside there. If I just crack that top, it's gonna explode all over the place. That's kind of what stress feels like when things are going wrong, when we feel like there's trouble, when everybody's in our house and we can't get away and our brothers and sisters are frustrating us. It's like we're being all shook up. But we can encourage ourselves in the Lord. I have some verses from Psalm 27 and 28, and I want to show you what it's like to encourage yourself in the Lord. It's when you speak to your soul things that you know are true about God. I'm gonna practice on this can of pop and then you can practice on your own heart. Here's some of the things that I wanna say to this stressed out can of pop that's all shook up. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. I'm taking some time to slowly speak some good words to this can of pop, but they're words for our heart too. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. This is another one I really like. The Lord is my shield. In him my heart trusts. I am helped. These are all promises from God's word. I love this one. With my song, I will praise him. Now these words have an ability to calm our hearts. And I hope these words have calmed our can of pop as well. Let's say it one more time. Be strong, take courage, hope in the Lord. And now, if I open the can of pop, We have peace because all that stress and all that strain is gone. You can speak to your heart promises from God. Even if it's those little verses that we sing, cast your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Those words spoken to our heart can bring peace. Now, we don't have to poke ourselves. 
we just whisper those words to our heart when we're stressed and strained and bubbled and God can bring peace to our soul. Miss Michelle is going to take a couple minutes and pray with us. I love Miss Michelle and the peaceful presence she brings. So let's take a few minutes and pray together. Hi, children. I just want to say that I, I love and miss you, and I hope you guys are having a great, great week. Um, thought maybe we could pray together. So if we can bow our heads and close our eyes, we can start praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today and for your many blessings and for, for always being there for us. Lord, we thank you that, that we are having beautiful weather and the sunshine and that it's springtime. Lord, we thank you that with spring brings new life. And Lord, that you give us new life. Thank you for the reminders every day, Lord, that you are always there for us and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, right now we're in uncertain times and things are a little scary. We're not sure, sure what's happening. But Lord, we do know that you are God. We do know that you are there for us. We do know that you are almighty. We thank you, Lord, and we thank you that your word says that you will never leave us nor forsake us, that you will always be there for us, and that we don't have to be anxious for anything. Thank you, Lord, for your reminder, for the truth, and that in everything that we can come to you in prayer, that we can bring our needs to you, and that you will will be there for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your peace that will guide our hearts. Well, I just pray for the children as they they go out and as they play and do their schoolwork from home. Lord, that you'll just give them the peace and give them the patience, Lord, to sit down at home. Because I know being at home is you want to play and have fun. But Lord, help us just to focus on what we need to get done. We thank you, Lord, for once again for your many blessings. Be with us this week and be with us as we go out and and share your love to others. We thank you, Lord, for always being there for us and give us a great week. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, your precious name, amen. Well, Hope that you guys have a, a great week and remember that I am praying for you and let's pray that you have fun in, in the beautiful weather that we're having and remember that you can always call on God that no matter what, he is always there for us. So I love you guys and have a great week. Thanks, Miss Michelle, for closing us in prayer. That's about it for today. I wait, hope wait, Miss oh. Carly. Oh, Duffrey! I hi. just want to say I'm super glad that pop didn't explode. Oh, I am too. That would have been really tragic. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Well, you take care, and I hope you have a great week. Oh, Miss Carly. Yeah. Can I take some pop back for the puppets? We've been kind of having like a party because we're all like not leaving the church. Um. Uh, probably I shouldn't send Pop back for the puppets for oh, a party. Okay. And you guys aren't making a mess there, are you? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think we should probably avoid sugars for right now. Yeah. You okay. guys stay healthy, and we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.